the indian meteorological department observes seasonal and annual rainfall every year in different subdivisions of our country it helps them to compare and analyze the results based on the information given here answer the following questions write the modal class well modal class is the class with the highest frequency so it would be 600 to 800 next is find the median of the given data for finding the median we first need the cumulative frequency of the given data we found out that sum of frequencies is 24 so n by 2 would be 12 now 12 would lie in the class 600 to 800 hence median class is 600 to 800 now median is given by sum of n by 2 minus cf upon f times h and l where l is the lower boundary of the median class so it will be 600 n is total number of divisions which is 24 cf is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class so it will be 6 f is the frequency of the median class 7 h is class width so 200 and median would be 200 771.43 mm thus the median of the given data is 771.43 mm the or part of the same question is find the mean rainfall in the season the table here shows that sigma fi xi is 20400 sigma fi is 24 mean is given by sigma fi xi upon sigma fi so mean is 850 hence the mean rainfall is 850 mm last part is if a subdivision having at least 800 mm rainfall during monsoon season is considered a good rainfall subdivision then how many subdivisions had good rainfall well such subdivisions would be the ones that receive rainfall equal to 800 mm or above it so total number would be the sum of frequencies which is 11 a garden designer is planning a rectangular lawn that is to be surrounded by a uniform walkway the total area of the lawn and the walkway is 360 square meters the width of the walkway is same on all sides the dimensions of the lawn itself are 12 meters by 10 meters based on this information answer the following questions formulate the quadratic equation representing the total area of the lawn and the walkway taking width of walkway as x meters now this is given total dimensions of the lawn plus the walkway will be 12 plus 2x times 10 plus 2x total area of the lawn and walkway can be expressed as 12 plus 2x times 10 plus 2x equal to 360 now solve the quadratic equation to find the width of the walkway x let's expand the equation for total area we get solving this and then dividing the equation by 4 we get Let's split the middle term. We'll get x as four because we can discard the negative value. Thus, the width of the walkway x is four meters. Next part is if the cost of paving the walkway at the rate of rupee fifty per square meter is rupee twelve thousand, calculate the area of the walkway. Let the area be A. So A times fifty would be twelve thousand, which gives us A as two hundred and forty meter square. Thus, the area of the walkway is two forty square meter. Find the width. Find the perimeter of the lawn. Now, perimeter is given by two times length plus breadth. 
substituting the values we get perimeter as 44 meters a lighthouse stands tall on a cliff by the sea watching over ships that pass by one day a ship is seen approaching the shore and from the top of the lighthouse the angles of depression of the ship are observed to be 30 degrees and 45 degrees as it moves from point p to point q the height of the lighthouse is 50 meters find the distance of the ship from the base of the lighthouse when it is at point q where the angle of depression is 45 degrees in triangle BAQ, tan 45 degrees is BA upon AQ. That means 1 is equal to 50 upon AQ, which gives us AQ as 50 meters. Thus, the distance of the ship from the base of the lighthouse, where it is at point Q, is 50 meters. Find the measures of angle PBA and angle QBA. Angle ABC is 90 degrees, thus angle PBA would be 90 minus 30 that is 60 degrees. Similarly, angle QBA would be 90 minus 45 that is 45 degrees. Next is, find the distance travelled by the ship between points P and Q. Let this distance be x meters. Now in triangle BAP, tan 30 degrees would be BA upon AP. BA is 50 and AP would be 50 plus X. Solving for X, we get X as 36.6 meters. Thus, the distance travelled by the ship between points P and Q is 36.6 meters. If the ship continues moving towards the shore and takes 10 minutes to travel from Q to A, calculate the speed of the ship in kilometers per hour from Q to A. Now AQ is 50 meters. Time is 10 minutes, which is 1 by 6 hours. Now distance is speed into time, which means speed is distance upon time. Substituting the values, we get speed as 50 times 6, that is 300 kilometers per hour. Thus, the speed of the ship is 300 kilometers per hour.